you're still watching ways oh so today is national screenwriters day to celebrate when credits roll on your favorite show or movie admire the writers on national screenwriters day so inside the industry these rights um, screenwriters are well known for their ability to crack the story create great roles for actors and write memorable dialogues so next time you watch a movie a blockbuster thank the screenwriter wow. <laughs> yeah they are the ones that bring it to life. You I, know. Never, I never think of that. There's a whole yes. team of them behind yeah. those things that seem effortless. You know, so I am on African Magic and I play a role. Um, there's a new um, series called Brethren. I play a very small role called Lola. And trust me, when the screenwriters are having their meeting, it's a serious meeting. Brainstorming. They brainstorm how to bring the character alive. It is actually very interesting. Yeah. Especially for people that love poetry and all of those things, you know, you would understand and appreciate what the kind of effort they put together. So it's a, we just thought to share that with yeah, you guys. Good. So Thank today, you. what did you find in the news for us, Uti? So um, for me, we had a fire at the airport, the International Airport in Port Harcourt. And um, we've had so many stories in the news recently um, about things happening at airports, insecurity. But for me, what stood out with this story was the fire actually started outside of the airport, but it affected the runway and the air side of the airport. So of course, flights were diverted, flights that were due to take off couldn't take off. Um, but we just talked about Hamatan. Hmm. And you know, one of the things about Hamatan is it makes everywhere really dry. Yeah. Your foliage, everything is dry. So it takes a little thing to spark up a fire. So we've had these bushfires that have now affected and, you know, first week of the year when everybody's trying to come back to their various locations, this fire managed to shut down the airport for the better part of a day. I mean, FAN have worked on it and they've reopened the airport now. But I think it's important for us that when we look at a couple of things that stood out for me in this story was one, fire trucks, no water, no chemicals. In this day and age, that story yeah, is so question. old that we can still, and you know, an international airport, hmm. we still hear those kinds of things. It's it's scary. Twelve years on from the social um, crash, hmm. and we're still hearing these kind of stories. Lives were lost then, so hmm. clearly we haven't learned our lessons. So it, this is something that FAN really needs to take up and ensure that we're securing our airports. We travel a lot in this country, whether it's locally or internationally. So it's really, really important for me. This story really stood out, and even in terms of the people. Who around the airports we need to keep every time you fly over an airport you see there's bush everywhere yeah we need to be keeping you know those areas trimming around the airport areas. trimming and keeping these are yeah. things we pay those little taxes so interestingly wow. you know because um we are farmers in our family we farm um palm oil and all of that interestingly just um, last week someone we don't know where the fire started from but somebody actually set the farm on fire so about th we we had about um 30 acres of our land you know consumed with fire so just yeah. yesterday you know my husband had to go and get trucks you know to go and wet the ground with about um, about I think 2,000 liters of water just to you know mm. keep the ground yeah. moist, moist. Yeah. so the you know just stop to stop the fire yeah. from being able to so spread. what you're saying is it's simple you already know that the hamatans are coming and all of these things it is well, just simple logic have measures. those things on ground and we wouldn't have the, we, I think Nigeria is the most easy place to actually you know do the right thing Absolutely. if you just if you just put in the, we don't we just put I in the work people are, I think the authority are not just responsible. No, that's it. I think we just have an irresponsible government. It seems so at basic. all levels. It's water no, at that's all the most levels. Basic thing to do. And in you know, the airport. Mm, that's the most basic in thing airport, to do. Rather. Let me let's leave it. We'll talk about that one another day. <laughs> let me what Okay, what well, I found in the news, this is a story that well it's just like a cliche, but I will still discuss it. Please um, brutality. An harassment, yeah. An harassment. Um, it's, so, it's so sad that in year 2020, we are still, <laughs> we are still going through this. Mm. And this ha happened in um, Enugu to a boy called, um, a man rather, um, Justice Obasi, who was just clearly walking down the road, just strolling down, I think in the morning, and three policemen jumped down from the bus and decided to harass the boy and what they wanted was for him to open his phone number one, I, I think the major problem we have in Nigeria is rule of law at all levels there's no rule of law so everybody's just taking laws into their hands and there are no consequences mm. that's the video Most of the, the boy being beaten, there are no yeah. consequences for him and I don't think that policemen actually knew the kind of car they were mm. do you understand you ordinarily you don't have to go through you don't have to start hitting and harassing him to get a compliance from him 
he just basically can if there's a way they would have asked the man I'm sure he would have, but that is not within the. Well, why would you even not see anybody? You, you can't because just what do the story it. I read was that he highlighted from the bus, yeah. and they saw him walking no, down the road. He was a person that videos. Oh, that highlighted from the bus. That oh, got okay. from the bus. Because for me, you so just see me on the road, and you say, and you "Come and open your phone for me." Why would I open my? They phone? They have a search warrant. This, this story is. It will keep happening, yeah. by the way, because it's, it's great that you mentioned rule of law. We, it's not that the, it's not even the rule of law for me. I think it's a lack of understanding. Mm. And if you look at the, the genesis, quality of training of the police, the man. genesis of the inception of the police, the Nigeria Police Force, colonial era to keep us in line, and they continue that, and that's why they continue to. You know, harass people, beat people. But I'm happy. Oops, I don't understand people. that. I don't no, understand that. No, the Inspector that. General of Police has actually come out. Mm -hmm. Three of these um, guys, the three policemen in that video, they've been they've found. Been, yeah, they've been apprehended. They've, they've set up a, a small committee. I think that's the, the statement that the Nigerian police made. They've apprehended them, and they, they would um, they would actually be penalize them. Yes, the they would face number. the law Ua. for this crime. Ua. So it is unacceptable. Ua. Absolutely. Yeah. The problem, I think, I think the problem, the root cause of this problem should be identified. Mm. I think the quality of the training of our policemen mm. is in question. Yeah. Who and are the kind of people we even the Yes, the, the, the quality of the recruit is going to go into training. What kind of training do they the get? The kind of people that you recruit in our police it's forces, very important. you would not recruit them in your own business today At if all. you were a business owner. You <laughs> wouldn't. Absolutely. <laughs> no, there's no point. There's, I, I, I really don't see any problem if you're recruiting them. Okay, maybe just the basic um, qualification, secondary mm. school. But when they absorb them into the... What kind of... What kind of training, training and retraining they that they go through. Have you gone to the um, police, police college, college. in Ikeja? Ah. You need to pay them a visit. I go I've there for there. evangelism. So I can tell you what I see. Those people, there's no way they will come out of the police college and they will not be angry. Hmm. The kind of training they receive would even embitter them. So well. they take it out on you and, and me. I. Okay, well, let me take my own story. Like I call her Kadue Bulechuku. <laughs> <laughs> that was the Igbo name that um, this comedian gave her. Just, just too funny. And it just stuck to my lip. But Kadi B um, says she's filing for Nigerian citizen, uh, citizenship because um, of Trump. And um, a lot of Nigerians have come out to, I mean, Abike Dabiri, the diasporan commission. Commission. Chairman, said, chairman. Uh, chairman said, oh, yeah, we're waking, we're opening our arms. Or, and said, they, oh, they, they opened the door, sister. I said, <coughs> Thank you. Then um, Naramali also said um, she's welcome. They would give her, in fact, she should send her date of birth and and whatever to give her the citizenship. Outside of even Cardi B, there's a, another um, 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 star. What's his name? Ludacris. Ludacris actually celebrated his Gabonese, Gabonese citizenship. citizenship. I think two days ago, or was it yesterday? I saw it on online yesterday. He celebrated it. You know, so. Today, we're talking immigration and all of that. While Nigerians are always eager to just run and go abroad and all that, let them know that. For these people, they, they know that the attention, you understand, is here. Yeah. You know? So if you notice, international sensations, they're always looking for things that will create the buzz around Nigeria because we are like a very large market you know, for things to happen if you know the right things to do. So today, we're talking brain drain, we're talking illegal immigration, we're talking legal immigration, all of them put together. And Anita Ibiromke joins us after the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.